Hey there, everyone. Today we begin the CD-ROM episodes, about which I have several complaints, which will no doubt come up over the course of the video. But for now, we're going to start in on Episode A, Out of Deuce World. That's not totally 90s and hasn't aged horribly at all. And a lot of the planets in these CD-ROM episodes have these faux Latin construction names like Exoticus. There's one called Industrious. Later, we'll run into one called Ceramicus and Lagunicus. And basically, these levels are just kind of, I feel, very tacked on lazy. Tacked on and lazy. Wow, speaking of lazy, my sentence structure hurt. Oh, uh, wow, how did I not lose my shield just running over a barrage of spikes? That was incredible. That was... Wow. I... Wow. Okay. Well, I'm not going to think too much about it then. Rapid fire. All right. There we go. And you saw we got some TNT at the beginning. There are tons of TNT charges in these CD episodes. I don't know why they would give you so many... So many charges of a screen-clearing item, but they do. And you end up with, like, 40 at least in your inventory. It's crazy. That you would need to clear the screen that many times. Although, considering what's coming up later, I I hesitate to call these missions... Missions? I hesitate to call these levels too easy. But this one is this one is a pretty good one to start off with. This first level, in particular, is a very short one. We're already at the midway point, as you can see here. And we want to keep, as usual, a steady stream of gunfire going forward. Those guys on hoverboards aren't quite as bad as... Uh, as some enemies on hoverboards that we've seen, particularly the ones in uh, Chrysalis. But they're still pretty nasty. They move around a little faster, so it's uh, a little easier to get the jump on them. And uh, for some reason, here's part of why I say these episodes are lazy. Like, you can totally tell this is a secret passage right here. It doesn't look the same as the rest of the wall. And see, there's like a gazillion TNTs, like I was saying. But yeah, sometimes it's really easy if you look to find secret passages. And the thing is, there are actually some secret passages that are totally well hidden and blend in. So it's like, but I guess, I guess lazy level design is just kind of the theme of the day. See this little bottom corner that I'm looking up here? That's pretty awful as well. One up through here. Yes, please. Let's go ahead. Uh, 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 uh. If I could get up a little bit. And uh, don't get too excited when you get a shield around here. If I could, uh, oh yeah, see. Well, if I hadn't been talking, I probably could have averted that, but... Yeah, you just want to keep firing your gun forward, so we're going to... Yep. Those kind of springs are really weird and funky. They're, like, very soft, but we want to go through here. This will help us get some additional items if we go through here, because there are springy shoes right here. And there are going to be springy shoes in the next level as well, but they don't help quite as much as maybe you might think they would. I wonder if these can actually be taken out, because... Anything that can be shot and flashed like this can pretty much be taken out. It just depends on your willingness to pump it full of bullets. But yeah, the thing about fire shields, this is one place where I have to compliment these these extra episodes. Because the thing about fire shields is, if you get one, you can expect to lose all of it pretty much immediately. They're strategically placed so that there's like a gazillion enemies behind them. So, I'm probably going to do some careless stuff and lose a lot of my fire shield here. Wow, I'm surprised I didn't actually lose a piece of it right there. But, yeah, if you get a fire shield, don't expect to hang on to it for too long. The same goes for a normal shield or for uh, your birdie friend Hip Hop. Can I actually get up through there or do I have to do this whole thing? And Why am I going for floppy disks? I'm not really a completionist when it comes to these levels. They're kind of where my memory for this game begins to fail me. So I'm not too I'm not too invested in getting everything in them. If I do, it's pretty much just an accident. Anything up here that I need to know about? No. Okay, good. And as we go through the passage here, don't forget these toasters up here. Can't get them without the springy shoes. Yeah, see, we only are 4 80 80. That's not too bad. A double 80. That's better than I would have hoped for actually. But yeah, we're only four minutes in. We're already to uh, level two of Exoticus. That's a nice little free run that you can do right there. And there's our springy shoes. I don't know that they're going to be all that helpful, but I'll uh, definitely take what I can get. We're going to go ahead and uh, clear some enemies out first before we before we start making any big jumps for launchers. I'll stick around for launchers. That's definitely my favorite piece of non-blaster ammunition. Uh, let's position myself about right here. Only two? Ah, well. If I can get a few more, I'll be happy. Oh, come on now. That was just... 
That was a bunch of rigmarole right there. Okay. Let's keep moving on then. Whoa, hello. Alright, replenished fire shield. Not that it's going to last me very long. Yeah, I'm being kind of a fatalist, but there's good reason for it. Let's go ahead then and up and up. Yeah, see, like, they put a bazillion crows in here, and the crows are pretty easy. You just you just got to shoot them as they fly at you. They're not a threat. They don't shoot bullets or anything. As far as bird enemies go, they're actually among the nicer bird enemies I've ever known, actually. Birds are usually really annoying in video games, but these are not too bad. They just happen to spawn in bad spots sometimes. That's about all they do. And it's kind of hard to respawn them, too, so... Let's kind of get them to go away before we start doing this uh, this little platform hopping segment right here, which is not among my favorites ever, really. I'm going to go ahead and... S wow. Can't believe I managed to take him out before anything too terribly bad happened. Man, I'm proud of myself here. This is actually going pretty well for me. But there's more. Don't think it's over because there's uh, more, of this, more of this bird crazy stuff going on here. Let's actually try to take out some of these birds. They're a little bit harder to do away with. Anything over to the left I need to know about? Passages, passages, anything? You know, there may be a passage to the left that I missed going down here because it's pretty hard, if I recall correctly, to get up into this area. Although I'd like to because there are rapid fires there, but I ain't gonna hold my breath. That is just mean. Why would you place spikes right below springs? That's actually, that's actually the game uh, kind of growing a beard. Okay, hip-hop, you probably... Uh, I'm not going to get too attached to my hip-hop. He's probably... Okay. Actually, uh, he's kind of sticking around longer than I thought he would. There are, There's quite a barrage of enemies in this area. you got to be really careful of them. Whoa, he's uh, he's getting crazy. Anything, uh, anything I can actually get up into? I don't think the springy shoes are really going to help me out. I don't think there's any way up in there for me. There's a midpoint, though. Any chance of me getting up in there? Can I gun it? No, I don't quite think I can. I don't think it's going to be possible to reach that little area right there. Oh, well. No skin off my nose. We can go through a few little secret passages here and grab ourselves some ammunition. There will be some rapid-fire missiles a little bit down the See? Ah! Uh, I hate it that hip-hop goes first. Why don't they get rid of your shield and then take away your hip-hop? Probably because having a second gun is just way too much of an advantage. I can kind of see why they do it, but man, it chaps my ass every time. I hate losing my hip-hop before my fire shield. Not that I need carrots, but okay. They're kind of forcing me to take them there. This we want to avoid, actually. That's going to... Oh, crap. That was stupid. In my greed for TNT, I ended up losing some energy. Good God. I am really taking it here. I am not being careful at all. At all. Gotta be way better than this. You are better than this, Jess. Stop it. And I saw a guy across the way there who's probably not guarding anything terribly important, so... Let's go ahead and go up! Wow, how did I avoid that? And there's one down there as well, I bet. So why don't we just get away from him while we can? And I think we want to go... I think if we want to go up, there's just a bunch of enemies that are going to break our crayons and ruin our day. So... <laughs> Man, I've always wanted an excuse to use that phrase, break your crayons. I'm not a big fan of Urban Dictionary. They try way too hard to make slang terms that they think are going to stick in the lexicon. And 99% of the time, they fail. But every now and then, they come up with a good one. And break your crayons, I think. I've always wanted an excuse to use that. So I'm happy that uh, something in this episode gave me an excuse to go there. <coughs> excuse me, I'm a little bit... A little bit dry still from having a cold. I don't have a cold or a sinus infection anymore, but I... Hmm. Can I get down to that little nook there for nothing? Okay, that's cool. That's cool, I suppose. Just... Hey, oh, when did I miss a... Uh, when did I miss a bonus gem? Well, that is probably way far out of my purview now. Ah, uh, what's... What's through here? Crap. Boy, I don't feel good about my chances, but I'm going to risk it. Oh, okay. Ha! <laughs> Double 66. Well, no bonus for us. Oh, well. 